for a really quick and easy recipe for an upcoming party or maybe the Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl parties, then this is a really good one for you. Uh, a lot of times our party foods are a little bit higher in fat, and so we're going to show you one that's loaded with flavor. It's a little bit healthier for you. For this recipe, you'll need one can refrigerator crescent rolls, four ounces of cream cheese softened, half a cup cooked chicken, some cilantro, two tablespoons diced canned jalapenos, and two tablespoons of green onions. We're gonna start by adding in our cream cheese. And like I said, uh, this one's a little bit more low fat, and part of the way we've been able to do that is we are using the third less fat cream cheese. We're also gonna use uh, some cooked chicken. This is a good thing uh, if you have leftover chicken, you can uh, put it in a blender or a food processor uh, and chop it up, or you can do the canned chicken. If you're in a crunch and this is something that you wanna uh, make quickly, you can use that as well. So we've, we've chosen to use the canned chicken. I'm gonna kinda get this stirred around just a little bit before we start adding in our other stuff so that it's good and blended. You know, one thing about party foods and appetizers is a lot of times uh, they are pretty high in calorie for what they are. This one, one pinwheel, is about 43 calories. So it's not something that you want to eat a whole bunch of. So I always tell people these would be good if you take to a party. That way your whole family is not eating them all. Uh, or you can all actually freeze them. So bake them up and then freeze them and pull them out when you need them. We're gonna add in our green onions, our jalapenos, and cilantro. And we're gonna give it a quick chop. I think we've got them, got them chopped up. We're gonna put those in. and then just get this all mixed together really well. Now remember, we're gonna spread this out onto our crescent rolls, so we wanna make sure that we get this nice and blended so that all of our flavors are throughout, so that somebody doesn't get a pinwheel that's loaded with jalapenos and not a lot of chicken, uh, or a lot of chicken and not any jalapenos. Another thing about these is because they are um, small in size, you're not gonna get a whole lot of heat from the jalapenos, so don't let that scare you. Okay, get my mess out of the way. At this point, get you a cutting board and your uh, refrigerator crescent rolls. We're going to unroll those into uh, a long triangle, triangle, rectangle. Actually, my cutting board's small, so I'm going to do this one first. You want to pinch your perforations together, that way it doesn't separate out. And then you're just going to put your mixture on within about, oh, an, about half an inch from the edge of the pan. You don't want to go all the way to the edge uh, because as we roll we need uh, room for this to kind of expand out and then also so that our edges um, can seal well. So. And the next thing you wanted to remember to do is to roll from the long side, not the short side. So make sure that you roll from the long side. If you roll from the short side, then our rolls get a little too thick and they don't bake up the way we want them to. Okay, so once you have that, we're gonna put it seam side down. And you can take a serrated knife or a pizza cutter, works well, and we're just gonna cut those. We wanna be able to get about eight pinwheels out of each section of the crescent rolls. We've got all of our pinwheels on our cookie sheet. Once you're done, you should have about 32 pinwheels. You don't want them too thick because they'll take too long to bake and they'll be a little doughy. Uh, so you wanna make them about 32 of them on a cookie sheet. We're gonna put them in a preheated oven to 375 degrees and bake them for about 14 to 16 minutes. You wanna make sure that when you uh, know they're done, they're golden brown.
So we're going to pop those in the oven and get our mess cleaned up. You can see we've got our pinwheels out of the oven and they're a good golden brown. You don't want to overcook these and you do want to serve them warm, but they are a really neat, different addition to your next uh, holiday party, get together, Super Bowl, or just a fun finger food night with the family. Be sure to come back to the Food Corner, part of Newstar.com, for more demonstrations and recipes. And if you have any questions, contact the Pottawatomie County OSU Extension Office. We'd like to send a great thanks to Rock Creek Baptist Church for letting us use their facilities today. And remember, eat better, eat together.